Okay, I am going to walk you through a quick demo of what it takes to set up an action in drafts to post data to an Airtable using the new Airtable integration. So let's just set up an example here. Say I've decided I'm going to log my weight in an Airtable. I've set up an Airtable. It has three fields, a created date, a weight, and optional notes field. Now I could keep that in the Airtable app or go to the website, but it might be easier if I could just launch drafts, type my weight, and click an action to send it to Airtable. So let's set that up. So I'm gonna come into drafts, create a new action. I'm gonna give it a name, log weight, okay? Let's uh, give it a related icon just for fun. And we're going to add a step and we're going to add the new Airtable step type. Now to configure this, I need to select the base ID, which I can click the select button and it'll show me a list of my available bases in my account. I'm going to use the demo base. I need to put it in the table ID or name. In this case, I'm going to put in the weight log which is the table name I assign this table in Airtable. Then I need to configure what field values I want to send. In this case, I want to put in the field names exactly as they are typed in Airtable. I'm going to send created, and I'm going to use for that value the created date of the draft, so that if I capture one and forget to send it to Airtable, I can come in later. And to send a date, it needs to be formatted correctly for Airtable, but the little template tag can helper can help here. So I want the created date. If I look in the examples here, the format that Airtable is happy with is the ISO 8601 format. So I'm going to insert that tag. Then I'm going to insert the weight field. And for the value of the weight field, I'm going to make it the title of the draft, which will be the first line of the draft when I type. And then I'm also going to include notes here. And for the notes field, I'm going to say that's the body of the draft, which is everything but the first. Now that might be blank. I might not always have a note, but if I do type something on the second line or further, it'll add that to the notes here. And that's all I need to configure. Now, if I save and exit that, Say, uh, I've got a new recording, had a good day, I only weigh 178, I'm going to run that. You see, now I've got a new entry pop up in my air table. I'm going to make another change to this because once I've posted that, I really don't want it to remain in my inbox. So I'm going to come in here and say, after success, trash the draft because I don't really need it anymore. I'm just kind of using drafts as a conduit. I could archive it if I wanted to. Now, if I run that again, it'll move that draft off. You see it's still recorded. Now let's say I come in the next day, make another recording, and I want to note something about this. I run that, and you'll see it added it over there. And that's about it. That's how you can get started with Airtable integration with a simple logging example. And it'll save you some time from digging around, finding the right thing, creating a new record, etc.